Alright, so Qualcomm just dropped the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, and trust me, this isn't one of those boring, eh, it's slightly faster than last year kind of updates. Nope, this thing is a beast and people are already calling it the fastest smartphone chip on the planet right now. And guess who's about to flex it? Yeah, Samsung. The Galaxy S26 series is almost guaranteed to ship with this bad boy inside. If that's true, we're looking at one of the most powerful smartphones ever made, period. But let's break down why this chip is such a big deal. Before diving deep into today's video, a quick request. A single click on the subscribe button from you genuinely fuels my motivation to create more videos like this. It means a lot. Also, drop a like and comment if you like the video. Now let's get straight to today's topic. First off, it's built on TSMC's shiny new 3 nanometer process, which basically means more power, less heat, and longer battery life. Inside, you've got this new next-gen Orion CPU setup with a prime core that literally pushes past 4.6 GHz, plus a bunch of high-performance cores cruising at over 3.6 GHz. Translation, speed for days. And don't even get me started on the Adreno 840 GPU. It's designed to crank out console-level graphics in your pocket. Gaming, editing, multitasking, you name it. This chip laughs at all of it. Now here's the part most people might miss, but it's actually huge. Storage. Qualcomm added support for US 4.1 storage. Last year's chip only had US 4.0, and the difference is more than just a tiny bump. We're talking faster red speeds, up to 25% better power efficiency, more stable thermals, and even tighter security. In plain English, your phone runs smoother, cooler, and safer. And get this, Micron's already rolling out US 4.1 chips, and Samsung is expected to use them. So yeah, that next Galaxy is probably rocking this upgrade, and it's one of those quiet improvements that ends up making your phone feel way better day to day. And Qualcomm didn't stop there. The Adelie Gen 5 also supports Unreal Engine 5 for crazy realistic gaming, a triple 20-bit image signal processor for sharper photos and videos, and a new x85 modem that can hit download speeds up to 12.5 gigabits per second. That's not just fast, that's download an entire Netflix season, while you microwave a burrito fast. So how does it stack up in numbers? Early benchmarks are showing about 20% better single-core performance, 17% better multi-core, and 16% more efficiency compared to the last gen. And Qualcomm isn't even being shy. They're straight up calling it the fastest smartphone processor in the world right now. And honestly, they might not be exaggerating. But here's where things get spicy. Samsung usually does it just slap Qualcomm's chip into their phones and call it a day. They work with Qualcomm to tune up special for Galaxy editions, squeezing out extra performance just for their flagships. Which means the S26 Ultra might actually run even faster than other Android phones using the same silicon. And if the leaks are true, it could even leapfrog Apple's upcoming A19 Pro in raw speed. Put all of this together, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, US 4.1 storage, Samsung's custom tuning, and suddenly the Galaxy S26 Ultra isn't just another yearly upgrade. It's shaping up to be Samsung's biggest swing at dominating the smartphone game. If the rumors are on point, the S26 Ultra could end up as the fastest and most advanced smartphone of 2026. And honestly, I cannot wait to watch that showdown play out. Catch you in the next one.